Infinity Kingdom is a game of war, and in this video, you're gonna watch my alliance and I take a capital city. What's going on, guys? It's Omniarch. Ah, uh, cheers, you know the drill. Capital cities are some of the most difficult cities to siege here in Infinity Kingdom, but they also are some of the most important because not only do they provide your alliance with powerful buffs and gathering speed in that area, but they also provide your entire alliance with gold per hour, and gold is one of the most rare and important resources here in Infinity Kingdom. I mean, you're going to need a ton of gold to boost all of your immortals and upgrade all of your dragons. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how we were able to take down this capital city. Now, before we begin, guys, if you want to play Infinity Kingdom with me, make sure you download the game with the link in the description and join server 21. Norheim 21 is the server that I am playing on. And maybe, just maybe, if you become powerful enough, you'll be able to join the same alliance. So with my server plug out of the way, let me first talk about how you're supposed to teleport around a city. Shout out to everybody who's in my alliance discord already, but this diagram here was made by them. And this is, this is a great diagram of how you're supposed to be teleporting around a city. So you can see in the center, this green circle, this is a city that you might be attacking, whether it's a capital city or just a regular city teleporting in this orderly grid fashion is the most efficient use of AP. And it's going to make it a lot easier for many players to surround that city and attack it all at the same time. If you don't teleport on a perfect grid, then that means other players are going to be staggered around and they're going to be a little bit farther away from the city. And that's just going to make them take longer to march, to hit the outer walls, to hit those inner garrisons. So maybe Make sure that you guys are teleporting in an orderly fashion now layer one you can see here is in red this these are going to be your most powerful players okay the t5 players the t4 players or just your most powerful players in general layer two is going to be all of the other players who couldn't make it in layer one so your powerful players that just couldn't fit and everybody else now of course you can have theoretically an infinite amount of layers right you're going to have layer three on the outside layer four around there and those are going to be some of the weaker players in your alliance or in your kingdom. Now we're going to talk about the different roles of layer one and layer two in just a minute. So make sure you stick around. And as you watch this gameplay, I want you guys to take note as to how exactly we're attacking the city. Okay. So there's two phases for a city attack. First, you have to attack the outer walls of the city. The outer walls are sort of like the protection around that city. And everybody can sort of just spam all of their marches attacking every single segment of this wall. You can see it's broken down in like a grid pattern. Once you see the piece of wall that you've been attacking go down to zero of course you can move on to the next piece of wall and so on and so forth with coordination with your alliance with your kingdom of course you want to attack the walls that are closest to your city because that means your troops are going to march there finish the attack and march back much faster than if you attack a wall that's for example on the opposite corner of where your city might be it's going to take a long time for you to walk all the way there but it's important that you defeat the wall as fast as possible because you'll notice on the screen that you have a 15 minute time limit when you're attacking the these cities and if you don't defeat all of the walls and all of the garrisons in that time then the city attack fails and that's really bad for your alliance for your kingdom and for morale in general because you spend a lot of troops and a lot of action points attacking these cities so you want to make sure that you're definitely going to win when you plan these attacks after the outer walls are destroyed there's inner garrisons that you'll see with little light pillars regular cities have four garrisons but in the instance of a capital city it has nine garrisons now garrisons are much more powerful than the outer walls once every single garrison is reduced to zero whichever alliance owns every single garrison will be the alliance that owns that capital city and that's pretty much it that is the city attack gameplay in a nutshell and it sounds simple but it's actually really difficult and requires a lot of planning and coordination coordination. So just to recap, teleport around that city as neatly as possible with your strongest players on the first layer and the second layer, then all the additional players on the outside. Then you want to destroy the wall around that city. And finally, you want to destroy all of the inner garrisons and have a single alliance capture 
all of those garrisons. So let me give you guys a couple of tips when it comes to sieging a city, whether it's a regular city or a capital city or whatever the case might be, these tips are going to be crucial for you guys. And the first tip is make sure your alliance plans in advance. Okay. You want to make sure that you're going to be the alliance taking the city, that there's no other alliances nearby that are going to be fighting you for it, or that already have plans to take that city. You want to make sure that you have a time slot reserved everybody knows which alliance is going to be taking it and all of your alliance members know when this is going to be happening it's best to take a poll of your alliance make sure that everybody's going to be online at that time because again there's a 15 minute time window which means that if you can't do it then you're going to waste a ton of ap a ton of resources a ton of troops so ideally you want to attack a city one time have it be successful the first time and that requires planning and coordination you want to be strict with that start time and you want to make sure that everybody is online because as you saw at the beginning of this recording the recording started about 30 seconds after the attack began because we weren't expecting the attack to start somebody just hit the city and if you hit the city without any warning it starts that timer and if players aren't paying attention then you're wasting precious time so make sure that you're punctual you're on time everybody's online and then throw up the green light next i recommend that everybody join sort of a discord call or at least be participating in the alliance chat that's built in in game and the reason for this is because you want to coordinate who's going going to be attacking which walls and what order of garrisons you're going to be attacking garrisons deal a ton of damage to your armies so it's better for you and for everybody if you coordinate to attack the same garrisons all at the same time so essentially you want to defeat them in order the way that my alliance and other members of my kingdom do this is that they do top left to bottom right so it's just like reading a book you read left to right top to bottom right so that's pretty much how most alliances will attack these garrisons again starting with the top left corner then doing the top right corner or in the case of a capital it's going to be the top center garrison then it'll be the top right corner because again there's nine and then middle left and so on and so forth the next tip that i want to give you guys is only use your strongest marches on the garrisons if you're attacking the city walls it's fine you know if you have a couple of armies that are decently strong you could use those armies to attack those city walls ideally you want to use your strongest army but you know for the walls it's not that big of a deal but the garrisons deal probably three times more dead troops on average compared to the wall attacks so again when those walls crumble and the garrisons arrive only use your strongest armies on those garrisons additionally this goes without saying but before this even starts before you even begin this city attack make sure you activate your buffs okay whether it's an attack buff or a defense buff whatever you can make sure you're activating your war buffs because they're going to be crucial when it comes to taking down the city and it will reduce the amount of dead troops that you get now remember earlier i told you the purpose of layer one is different than layer two and beyond and that is because layer one is going to be ideally your strongest members of your alliance or of your kingdom layer one isn't going to be attacking the outer walls at all layer Layer one is going to primarily be focused on taking down the garrisons. You might be thinking, why is this? Well, you know, it's not the end of the world if layer one starts attacking the, the walls, right? It's it's really not. But layer one is the closest to the city, which means they're going to be able to launch attacks faster than any other cities on the outer layers. And remember, garrisons deal about three times more dead troops than the outer walls. So you want your strongest, most active players to save all of their strong troops for the hardest part of the battle. If if layer one loses a ton of troops just attacking those outer walls when it comes time to defeating the garrisons they're going to be at a slight disadvantage so again it's not the end of the world right it's not the end of the world if layer one attacks the outer walls but ideally you want to have the walls be destroyed by the weaker players that way the stronger players can take on the hardest part of the city siege and finally i want to make sure you guys save up your ap before the city siege even starts if your alliance has been planning this for 12 hours for example and you know exactly when this is going to happen make sure you don't spend all of your ap killing gnomes in the open field or defeating the world bosses again you want to be able to defeat the city on the first go around which means you don't want to end up losing just because players run out of ap to attack that city so make sure you save all of your ap and use as much of it bottled up as you can that you can realistically spare and as long as you guys follow these tips and you have enough strong players in your alliance you should have a pretty good time taking down these cities with that being said 
guys if you enjoyed this video if you found it useful or entertaining or anything like that make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out my channel a ton it's the fastest and most free way to support the channel and when you do that it helps get this video out in front of other infinity kingdom players using the youtube algorithm of course if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinity kingdom video and of course if you have any questions or any city siege tips make sure you drop them in the comments section below i'll be down there talking to as many of you as i possibly can as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff is always down below and anytime there's a new redeem code where you can get some free stuff i always put it in that discord so make sure you join down below and if you haven't already use code omniarch all lowercase you'll get some free stuff and if you made it to the end of this video and you're a rise of kingdoms player or another player from another game just like this and you're wondering if you should play infinity kingdom well there's a link down below go ahead give it a try it supports the channel and the game is free if you don't like it you can always uninstall it with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace